is exciting season, the, the season of Hanukkah. I want to talk for a moment about Hanukkah in the context of Hanukkah. I, I sincerely hope all of you will run and get Hanukkah in the light of Mashiach publication. I'm really excited about this. I want to connect it for a moment to uh, the parasha this week and what we read. We are in parasha Vayetze. There is a... a a verse in the parasha that to me is important. I want to connect it to Hanukkah, to Lechadodi, and then we will walk into the Anna Bekoach af- after that immediately. Is in, in the narrative this Shabbat, uh, Yaakov uh, uh, leaving Be'er Sheva, and the interest in the word Sheva, if you take the, the sheen and you the dot on the other side, you get the word Seva, Seva or Sheva, Shin or Asin, it's still the letter Shin. Now the interesting thing about it, if you take the word Seva or Savea, you get the word fool, somebody who ate a lot and is full, is content. And, and it's interesting because Yaakov, our father, leaves the, the well of Seva, meaning the place of contention. And he's going to a place called Haran, which is written in the word Haran, hell. He's leaving a place of contention, and he's going to a place called hell. And, and it doesn't make sense. Why would you want to leave a place of contention uh, or a place of fullness and to go to a place of wrath or hell? The interesting thing about all of this text that I want you to think about is in, 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 the, in, in the context of Hanukkah, in the context of, of miracles and, and Yaakov Avinu, is there is always room for more with God. And this is a mistake people are doing a lot of time, and maybe you are even doing it, is you think that... Hey, I have experienced God. There is nothing more. There is nothing new for me to experience. I have seen it all. I've heard it all and, and so forth. But here in the text, we are seeing that God wants to stretch, stretch Yaakov to, to even more. And it's interesting because Chazal says that as he leaves the place of content and he's going to Haran to redeem more sparks, God supernaturally helping to walk so one journey one step that is taken forward is 10 steps uh 10 steps in a physical in the supernatural it's a supernatural steps to fulfill god's vision and god calling upon his life and it's it's important to understand because the same thing happened with eliezer if you remember eliezer had the same situation one step he took counted as 10 steps When you leave a place of comfort, beloved, and you're going to a place that God is calling you, even in difficult situation, you can bank and you can count on the fact that God is going to go before you in a supernatural way. When God is going to use the supernatural is not necessarily when you're in your comfort zone, but rather when you're out operating under the spirit of obedience. And what does this obedience look like? Uh, I want to talk for a moment about obedience because people think that obedience is just nearly doing what God wants us to do. But there is a verse here in this Torah portion that really hit me very much. It says here, after the vision, remember, you see the vision, you see the dream, you see the letters, and then it says in verse 16, Vayeketz Yaakov Mishnato. He woke up from his sleep. Now, what do you hear with the word yekets? What do you hear inside the word yekets? You hear the word kets. The word kets in Ibu means the end. He understand that the vision and the dream that he received related somehow to the end time, to Acharita Evin for the last days. And to me, the, the greatness of Yaakov is not the fact that he just go out, okay? And Anybody can take a step of obedience to go out, but that is not where the greatness comes. The greatness comes is, is, is right here. It says, Vayomer, he's saying, he's speaking to himself. He said, Vayomer achen yesh Adonai b'makom azeh v'anokhi lo yadati. He says, oh my goodness, God is in this place and I did not know. You see, there is two aspects for us of going out. One is just pure obedience. Now, seven ishma. We are going out. We're going to, God said so, and I do that. But that's not when we see the power of God. 
when he says ve'anochi, lo yadati, what he's really saying here now, I have a cognizant understanding inside of me that God is really with me. And that's something that sometimes we are lacking. That's what the bride is lacking in the story of the Lechadode. She doesn't understand that although she is separated from the groom, the groom never left her. The groom never leave. Everybody need to understand that although Mashiach is not revealing himself to the world today, he never forsake us. He's never forsake us. And here he says, lo yadati. Then all those miracles start to happen to Yaakov in his life. You see, if we want to experience the supernatural, we have to learn to say, Ve'anochi lo yadati. I am now understanding that I am not walking to God. I'm walking with God. You see the difference? I'm not walking to the Chatan, but rather the Chatan is walking with me. When I take a step, the Chatan takes two steps. That's how the Kfitza today are taking place. And this is something that all of us need to understand. When we come closer to the groom, the groom is making an extra effort to come closer to us to the point that he is in natural proximity to us at all times. And this is the beauty of this story of Hanukkah. When is the miracle occurred? The miracle occurred when they when they found the flask of oil. I don't think that that's when the miracle occurred. When they found the flask of oil, the miracle occurred is when they went to a battle with one against ten. The ratio was one against ten, and they won a battle once against ten. Was that the miracle? Yes, it was the miracle. Was the flask the miracle? Yes, the flask was the miracle. The 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 idea here is that if I know that God is me with me, if I know that this God is fighting with me, if we can say Anna Bekoach and believing that God is he is not over the heavens, he's not over the seas, he's right here next to me. Then guess what? It's changing the way we live our life. I'm not praying to God who is somewhere in the heavens only. He's here on earth, he's here next to us. And to me, the, the beauty of the Mount of Hanukkah, and that's why I want you to get this publication, by the way, because there's so much Divrei Musa, so much Haggadah, so much Halakha. The Mount of Kislev is a month where our faith should increase so that we say, oh my gosh, Vanuhi lo yadati. I didn't realize that God is here all this time. Indeed, He's here. He's next to you all this time. Let's call upon Him today.